Good morning, happy Monday. Um, had a haircut uh, last night, so yeah, set off to a good day. I need to return this back to uni, the transmitter and the portable flash. And the lighting stand, um, it's already like due date for me to borrow it. And yeah, I need to give it back to them. Um, it's been a really fun time using the transmitter and the portable flash. The pictures all turned out quite well actually and I showed a couple of my friends and they actually liked it as well. So yeah, heck yeah. I think I will be using it more in the future as well now. I'm considering that I used it. Anyway, um, earlier today a package came for me from Amazon. Yes, oh, there's nothing in here because I already cut it up. I remember I was talking to you guys about like the lens converter for the film camera to my Canon DSLR. So my film camera is the Minolta and I am totally forgot that that is the brand. So yeah, I went to like research and everything, trying to find like a Minolta uh, lens converter to a Canon, that makes sense. And I finally found one and I got it. So here is the converter over here and here is the um, film lens. And yo, I'm excited to use this bad boy. I think I'm gonna go out to Sydney and um, shoot with a couple of my friends maybe. Um, just to figure it out and everything like that. So I'm heaps happy with it. Hopefully all the pictures now will turn out well. It actually looks like a 15mm. So kind of like a 15mm old school lens. But yo, other than that, I'm really heaps excited about it. Um, to shoot with it and everything. So yeah. So I just got home, I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit, gonna have lunch because I don't want to waste any more money um, going, you know, just buying food from here and everything, so it's literally every penny counts. So look at my head, it's so different man, my head's so different! Still trying to get used to it, going for a different style as well, so yeah, anyway, I, I hope it looks good man, I hope it looks good. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just setting up my, um, the food right now, I'm just gonna chill for an hour because my class doesn't start till like 2.30. So yeah, um, I bought myself Charles Dickens Oliver Twist. This is one of the criteria readings that I have to read um, for my creative writing class, and I'm gonna be presenting on it or about it, talk about it um, in three weeks. So after mid session break, so I'm gonna finish all this. Um, all these pages. Mm, that smell of, of of pages flickering on me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish it and then um, get to present it and. Fun times, fun times. Alright, off to uni now. Again. Yeah, let's go. And we back, and we back, and we back. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, right, just, just mute this for a sec. <laughs> So uh, that pretty much concludes um, for the mo Monday segment. Um, I got, well not I, the whole class, the whole students that, that's doing creative um, writing in this class particular. We all got our assessment task back, our first assessment task. And surprisingly, I did quite well. <laughs> I thought I would not have a really good mark, but you know, I got quite a solid mark, so I'm quite happy with it. But yeah, my uh, teacher that I'm teaching us, he said that overall, my work structure was good, except I just need to juxtapose between um, the two characters that I used in the text. And that is obviously, you know, like the fundamentals of um, when you're writing a story with the uh, contrast with the two characters or with characters um, out of the whole uh, character scheme. I think I've been saying characters too much that in my mind it's just like it's, it's not a word, it's not a word. <laughs> um, anyway so yeah that, that pretty much concludes our, um, our Monday segment. Tomorrow is the photography class I'm quite excited to get back into photography as well. Um, earlier today before the lecture started for creative writing I saw another class that's doing the same photography course as myself. They were using the film camera, the Mayima film camera. They were taking pictures outside and everything and I was just like, yo, this is so cool. This is so like heaps old school and everything as well. 
and I don't know whether we're going to be using it tomorrow or not, hopefully. Um, so we can do an you know, experiment, do more practical stuff. And I just feel like for me and myself, practicality, like if, if I were to do like something hands-on, I'll get more of the um, grasp, like I grasp more of the concept into what to do and into like understanding like the key ideas and everything. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it really. All right, let's go ahead with the Tuesday segment, you know. So, a very early start for me today, um, it's like 7.30 right now, just trying to like have some breakfast and then go to uni. Um, another uni day, but it's the photography, photography subject, so I am quite excited. Hopefully, like I said yesterday, we do some um, practical stuff and not so much like just stay in class and like um, working on our personal practice or something like that. I mean, which is good in a way. Because we can like share um, what we did with the teacher and everything, but yeah, let's go Tuesday. Let's rock and roll Tuesday, and it's supposed to be 28 degrees today, man. 28 degrees. What? Well, yesterday was already hot enough, but yesterday the sun was out, and today the sun's not out-ish. It is cloudy. Okay, I can see a little bit of the sun right now. A little bit of sun ray coming out, but yo, 28 degrees. What, like, what the heck? Alright, all done with uni for today. Um, photography, uh, photography class went really well. We used the Mamiya R670, I'm pretty sure. And, um, yeah, it's a medium format film camera. We used that and it was hip school. I just like looking at the viewfinder because it's very, like, 3D as well. So it was like such a cool experience to um, get your hands onto. But uh, right now I'm just about to have a quick lunch because in about like 15 minutes um, I'm going to go down to the courts and meet up with the basketball team to go and shoot some hoops. Uh, we didn't play last week because I think all of the team had a bye or something like that. So there was no game last week and we didn't like play as well so we're obviously i think going to be a little bit rusty so we're just trying to go and plus we haven't played like properly just like us um that's why maybe because we haven't been um doing as well as we hope for in the competition in the competition so yeah we're just going to play with um one another and hopefully we can improve our game and improve how we play and everything and like understand how each other play man this is what happens when you play basketball in white I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it literally is all so dirty. Also, I like the lighting with this uh, sun that's beaming through um, my place right now. Yo, I'm tired. I think I need a nap. Um, it was a really good basketball though. I think like, seriously, after a week of not playing, just laying off and just like chilling, it actually gets to you, man. Like you never know. And then like literally when I was playing, my shots were all off and everything. And I just, I just like got in my head. And yeah, me, you know, I'm, I'm like a, I'm, I'm an em emotional player when things don't go my way. I'm just like, what is happening? What am I, what am I doing? And I just take it like all too, I'm just like too hard on myself. So yeah, so I think I'm just going to nap and obviously do some more uni work. I've got readings to go and read for this week's material. Oh man, a lot of shit to do actually. I've got assignments to do as well because I've got one due literally on a Monday in three weeks and I've got a group presentation as well to do. So yeah, it's it's slowly accumulating up to all like the bigger assignments and everything. So fun times man, fun times. Alrighty, so time for basketball right now. I'm using uh, my old basketball shoe, the Adidas one. I just feel like this has like so much more cushion than the Hyper Revs that I have, the Nike Hyper Revs. So I gave that to shoot to borrow for, for today's game. I'm just gonna wear this instead. I haven't worn this for like eight months, man. So it's just like, 
the grip and everything you can see a little bit like it's still grippy hopefully I mean I don't know I've been using it in eight months so interesting time to uh, use it but wish me luck for my basketball game hopefully I play really well I really want to get buckets man I've been very afraid to like shoot and just like make chances for myself and just like keep feeding uh, my teammates I gotta like sometimes be selfish a little bit and be like a little, a little bit Kobe and get points for myself and see how it all goes so early start for me today I have more work Ugh. but I am gonna head um, I'm gonna head out 15 minutes earlier because I gotta fill up my petrol for my car and you know due to traffic and everything it's gonna be like obviously bad traffic because it's like peak time where everyone's going to like you need work or whatsoever I don't know whether I want to go into Wollongong and fill up my petrol or I would want to go to Shell Harbour because it's literally on the way to work to fill up my petrol so I have a little bit of an uh, epiphany I just don't know because I have one bar left and I'm just scared like on the way it's gonna be blinking and everything and then like it freaks me out so maybe I'll go to the one in Shahawa yeah I think I think they'll be much more wise so hopefully traffic won't kill me and um we'll see how it all goes I'll see you guys after work though yes I don't know whether you guys can see it or not but today is 33 I mean what's 33 degrees holy moly Yo, my friends and everyone, they were all at the beach, just enjoying the sun, and I'm just like, yo, I'm stuck at work. But some of them said that, you know what, it's lucky that you're inside and enjoy the aircon while it lasts because it is just so hot outside. But I wanted to go to the beach myself, and I see everyone literally coming to the shopping centers and everything, and they were all like wet with their beach towels, sandy hair. And everything and I'm just like yo guys I am just like really jealous and they're all like you know coming in with all that they're like bikinis and swimmers and everything and I'm like guys you're making me jealous man I'm over here stuck behind the coffee machine stuck behind the toaster and everything trying to like wrap sandwiches and make coffee as well it was just so hot and then, like plus the sun was like beaming through the um, glass the sun roof glass thing as well so Oh my god, but other than that, work was quite alright actually, although I got some, I got some, um, I'm gonna change the angle because it's like a little bit dark. I, I got some like weird customers, not really weird per se, but because, you know, people go to the place where I work for um, the barista's coffee, like the main barista, Jake, his coffee, because obviously he's like third in the whole the whole Australia of Seoul origin he came third and obviously he has a title on his name and everyone literally like you know people even say to me like yo we go here to get the best barista in the Illawarra of Seoul within Seoul origin um, coffee and we we don't want you like literally I had one guy point, pointing at me and thinking that it was my first day the other time when Jake was out competing I'm like, you know what, man, I've probably been here either longer than Jake or as long as Jake. So I'm perfectly, like in my head, obviously, I'm like, I'm perfectly adequate enough to make your, you know, to make your coffee. But obviously customers, they think that, I don't know, some people, they are just like very ignorant and they just don't want to believe that. So they'll just literally just go over him like, I shouldn't take it personally. But it makes you feel so shitty. It makes me feel so shitty, especially like earlier today as well. Um, one of the workers from Pandora, she came in and she was ordering coffee. I heard it, and I was near to the um, I was near the coffee machine. Plus, like Jake and everyone, they were like serving the salads for like the other customers. Someone making her coffee, literally about to like do a coffee, like pour her coffee in, I mean pour the milk into the uh, coffee and she's like, uh, actually excuse me, can the blonde guy over there uh, make, make it for me? And I look at her, I look at the coffee and I look at her, I just dropped everything, I was like, alright cool, yeah I just, and so I just walked away. And then my boss called Jake, and Jake came in and everything, and I'm like, sweet, yeah, and then I told Jake about it, and Jake told me about it, and I'm just like, bro, I just like, I, like I said, I probably shouldn't 
take it so personal, but it just makes you feel a little bit shitty when I don't know other people just come in and you're about to do the coffee or anything or, and look at you and just be like, nah, you're not, yours is not as good as this guy's or that person, which is fair, you know, which is fair, everyone has their own taste buds, everyone has their own way of making stuff, so, you know, maybe my coffee is not as good as Jake, but I would like to think that it is, whatever, I shouldn't take it personally, so, screw them, it's okay, they can just like, like imagine like, that's the customers, I'm just like, just flinging them off, off my life. Another day of work today, man. But I don't know what hat to wear. Is this cool um, caddy hat? Because I'm just like so super old schooled. Or just this billionaire's boys club hat. The little um, astronaut in the front. So I don't know which hat to wear though. I want to go for like a different style though, but at the same time, I'm literally like wasting my time just trying on hats and see which one I want to wear for work today. What y'all think though? I don't know, man. This is hard. I feel like now Horan went away this, you know? Because he wears like this kind of hat. Man, I don't know which hat to wear. I wish I got my um, the sailor's hat. I want to get a sailor's hat for, this, for the um, summer vibes. I don't know which hat to wear. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna wear that Beyond that boys club hat Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this There you go I think it'll be okay Okay <sighs> Alright Done with the days of work Whew, gotta wait till next week Now, for work, obviously And tomorrow at uni Man, it is nice outside though Except it's not as hot Or warm as yesterday Yesterday was like freaking 30 degrees Man, holy moly now it's just like, I think 23 degrees or something like that. Just the wind factor is just like strong at the moment as well. So yeah, it is what it is, man. But other, but other than that, work was good. Work was work, was, work, work, was work man, you know. Um, just trying to do it to, to earn some dodge and that's it. That's pretty much it, me. Alright, so there's not much happening um, at the moment, well, anymore throughout this day, or this evening, um, what's left. Uh, because, you know, my whole day literally was it's just filled with um, work. So Wednesday and Thursday, it's just filled with work. And that's pretty much it. And there's not much else to like talk about or um, to vlog about. I don't really want to talk about work, like what happened at work as well, because Work is work and you know, that's just there for me to do and get some experience and also just earn some money, you know, to um, pay rent and all this kind of stuff. So that's that, man. Um, that's pretty much it really for the Wednesday and Thursday. It's a little bit of a boring segment, I know. But hey man, at least I'm just like sticking through with it all and everything. So I apologize. <laughs> All right, another very, oh, it's quite sunny outside actually, but very, very vicious wind um, today on a Friday. I am nearly heading off to class soon, nearly heading off to class really soon. Um, you start, I'll you know, start like the introductory of the Friday segment. So I'm going to be wearing the Nike Cortez today and my windbreaker. My Air Jordan windbreaker that I got from Men Clothing. Literally, this is my favorite windbreaker at the moment. It's very good outside too because, like, it is spring right now, so you don't really need to wear like those, like jumpers or anything because it's still hot if you wear like jumpers. So, windbreaker is the ideal fashion and ideal comfort during the spring scene. Look at me talking about fashion and everything. Woke up slightly late, however, I have the time for is for breakfast. Is a cup of coffee and that's pretty much it and I have to bounce um, I have to do a I have to, I have to work on a group assignment for one of my subjects 
and that's fun. <laughs> Love doing group assignment. No, not really. I don't really like doing group assignments, but I think we're just gonna work through it for this whole day. So basically, I'm gonna be at uni for like the whole day today. Literally for the whole day today. Oh, and um, it's pretty much it, man. Group assignments. It's, it's kind of annoying group assignments, but once it's done and dusted, like that's it, you know. And um, good thing because like we have to present it as well. The good thing is that we have five minutes for each of us to speak, and that's four in a group. I just need to get the right information and stick to the um, subject, um, into stick to the like outline into what you say and everything because I tend to like drift off and like say unrelatable stuff. That's pretty much it for today on a Friday. Also, a big thumbs up for this for this shit because it's comfy as heck. All right, so the end of the day, I am just chilling here because Shook bought myself and him and Putri as well NBA 2K18. I'm just literally I don't really play like my career on this. I just like playing matches. I don't know why, I, I never like playing like my player or anything like that. It tips weird and I see everyone's all like playing like my player and online and everything and they're, they're all just like, yo, I've progressed with my player and everything. Like, yeah, it's fun. But I just like playing blacktop and just like it's a normal exhibition games, so like competition games or whatever on um, NBA. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's just how I roll, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I said, towards the end of the, um, of the day, and that's pretty much it for the video for this week. Tomorrow, I am going to go to Sydney, like I said on Monday segment. I'm going to take my, um, film camera from my Minolta film camera, and I converted, well, I used a converter to connect from, to my Canon, to my Canon DSLR, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try and do that and take cool pictures and hopefully the weather is good tomorrow. I've checked like literally 10 times for the weather and he said that was going to be overcast and then rainy. It was going to be sunny so I don't know. I'm going to check it again tonight and tomorrow morning before I go and hopefully the weather is good and I want to go and um, take some pictures as well with my mates and everything as well. So we have like a little, um, like a little shooting itinerary to doing everything so we have like, yeah like we have like a little photo shoot to do so that's that man i'm excited to play 2k18 and that's pretty much it for the video for this week thank you for watching if you like it please give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe in the meantime stay groovy this is good music and a good food catch you on next week ciao